Okay, we're going to get into heat pump wiring. So this is um, wiring in a complete system. So I've added a couple of terminals that you may see on different makes and models of thermostats. So you're probably not going to see all of these terminals, at least on my example of air handler unit and heat pump. You're probably not going to see all of these, but you probably see a couple of them. And I just wanted to let you know what they do. The most important thing when it comes to wiring thermostats and wiring systems is just knowing what the terminal does. They can call it whatever they want it. They can call it a Z terminal. As long as you know what it does, then you know how to wire the rest of the system. That's the most important thing. So you got to know the function. Just like when we talked about basic thermostats, how you got a G terminal, and G is for the fan. R is the 24 volts. Um, y is the compressor. Um, which I called it cooling earlier, but for heat pumps, basically it powers the compressor outside. It powers, you know, it's it's the signal to turn the compressor on is what I should say. So we'll just call it compressor. And then you've got W, which is call for heat. So on a heat pump, your first, you've got two stages of heat. The first stage is your heat pump. The second stage is your backup heat. And heat pumps have to go into defrost mode once in a while so that's really if you took out the defrost board and the reversing valve you just have an air conditioner um, and during cooling mode when you flip the thermostat to cool the outdoor heat pump is just an air conditioner it just acts exactly like every other air conditioner the difference is is the reversing valve and the defrost board so um, like we talked the O and B terminal depending on what energizes it for that particular brand and that particular make, um, that depends on what's going to happen with a call for heat or call for cool. But anyhow, I um, want to talk about a few other terminals here that you may see and just what they do. So you may see an L terminal. I think York is still using L, possibly maybe Carrier. I'm not sure. It, it really doesn't matter, but as long as you know what it does. So the L terminal, if you ever see that in a thermostat or outside, typically that's the fault terminal. That just means that it's gonna send power um, up to the thermostat basically if, if there's a fault outside of the outdoor unit and that just, all it does is light up a light in the thermostat. Then we have X terminal for train. Train uses X. X is anytime the unit goes into defrost, we need the backup heat running. So it sends a signal into the air handler to turn on the strip heat. So that's what X does. In Ream, for instance, they call it D, and it does the same thing. It's when it goes into defrost, it sends power to the backup heat to power while the unit's in defrost. So it doesn't matter what they call it. They could call it Q for, for all we care, as long as we know what it does. Um, and you got to know that there'll always be a terminal at the outdoor unit, that does get energized anytime the unit goes into defrost, so it kicks on the backup, the backup strip heat. So we're um, during defrost mode. We're not just blowing cold air in the house. That way we can continue to heat the whole time. So I just threw that up there just as a reference, just so you kind of know. Um, here's our typical heat pump thermostat that we had earlier. We've got R, which is power. Y, which is compressor. Y2, which we're not going to use. G is the fan. O slash B or O and B, however the stats hooked up is for reversing valve. Um, w E W two or auxiliary, those are all for the backup heat when we're talking about heat pumps. So really, you know, these could all be the same terminal. It doesn't. Um, they probably don't have jumpers in them, but you could jumper them all together, and it's probably going to work out just fine for you. Anytime you're hooking up a, a heat pump, I would always glance over the instructions that come with the thermostat and the instructions that come with the air handler. The air handler will have a layout of exactly how to wire the thing for that particular brand and make and model. You just got to pick the right um, combination. It may have several uh, different options in there. As long as you pick the right model, you'll, you'll wire it exactly how the system says. So I always recommend that. Um, also at the thermostat, whether uh, at the air handler, if we've got W1, W2, W3, those are all just to power the strip heat. So 
um, in certain ream units, this is what actually what they had um, was W1, W2, W3, and we just tied them all together with a wire nut and then hooked our, our white wire because it's W from the stat. Um, we would hook those up together. So <clears throat> this is a train example. Train uses X to power up the, the strip heat whenever there's a call for defrost. Um, one thing that train does that's a little bit different is they use B for their common and it, they'll actually I think they even use the blue wire for common and Like I said before as long as you know what the terminal is doing That's really all you need to know colors really don't matter. It just makes it easier. So you could use blue uh, you could use um, For train X is black Because that's just how they use it that's just what color they chose. And then this is blue. The B terminal is blue. Um, so that may swap your wires up a little bit, but you know, as long as you know what they do, X is for when the unit goes into defrost to power up the strip heat. B is common. So that's one I forgot to add up here. We'll just add it. There's a common. There's a common. So all the commons just tie together. Pretty simple and then we have O well all the O's tie together sometimes you may not even have an O terminal on the control board or a B whatever they're using um, and in that event you just take the two wires and twist them together because at your air handler you're gonna have the wire coming from your thermostat and the wire coming from your outdoor unit you would just tie those two together if there's no actual terminal to put them on together um, G, uh, the outdoor heat pump doesn't require a call for fan, so that only goes between your stat and your air handler. Then you have the compressor, which is Y, and those just all tie together. And then you have your 24 volts, those all tie together. So that's it. That's, that's an entire heat pump system wiring. It's pretty simple. Um, hopefully I didn't confuse you on what we were talking about i'm just trying to get you to understand you just need to know what the terminals do so it's important to know that l is a fault terminal x is the the call the signal to call for the strip heat d and on that particular ream brand is the signal to call for the strip heat um, and knowing that uh, they're using this blue wire called b they're using it for common as long as you know what it is then you can wire it up properly and easily. So that's a brief overview of heat pump thermostat wiring.